Good evening. Hi, Celia. Good evening. How are you, Edwin? Fine, thanks. Are you all miss? Pretty good. Thank you. So how was your day? Okay. How was Very your day? Nice. I I come back to to work. Okay. Um, yeah. Very very good. And you? How about you? What's uh, what do you do? So well, I also work in a school in the mornings. So um, well, today I had a meeting in some training, and yeah, that was pretty much it. So it was a busy day, but it was okay. It was. Just um, fine, okay. I guess. Okay. So have yes. you been working in the platform, um, Edwin? Yeah, yes, teacher. Okay. I, I, I... What section are you in? In video eight, that one, I guess. What is it? Sorry, can you repeat it? The video eight that one. Okay. So that is in uh, section no four lesson five. lesson four that nine. Okay, four that nine. Okay. Four nine. Very good. And last video I view four that six. Yeah. Okay, four point six. That's nice. Point or that. Well, in this case, you say point because that is only for the electronic things. Okay. So in your email, you say at hotmail.com, for instance. Website. Um, yeah, exactly. For what websites, you also okay. say that. Point. Mm -hmm. Point. Okay. All Thank right. You. Good evening, Roberto. Hi, teacher. How are Good you? Good evening. I'm fine, thanks. And you? Pretty good. I'm doing well, thank you. So, how was yeah. your day? Um, eh, tranquilo, <laughs> no sé cómo decirlo. Eh, light. <laughs> okay. Light. <laughs> Great. All right, that's nice. Yes. And how about the platform, Roberto? Have you been working on it? I'm working in lesson 5.8. Oh, whoa, you're almost done. That's pretty good. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> good evening, Urania. Good evening, Miss Lily. How are you? Fine, thanks. Excellent. How was your day? Mm, hard. <laughs> okay. Was hard? Was it busy? Uh, yeah, I um, I had um, uh, short horse shorts. Sorry, can you I had I I had the horse shows and I went to the to the market. Okay. All yeah. right. And how about the platform, Urania? Have you been working on it? Yes, I did. Um, I I work in section four oh, points i don't remember <laughs> okay but you're in section four already that's good yeah yeah all right excellent good evening sarah hi miss good evening how are you i'm fine very good great so have you also been working in the platform Yes, I finished the section four 
I begin the section 5.1 point no 5.2 5. awesome that's great yes good evening Marily good evening teacher how's it going I'm fine and you teacher I'm doing well thanks okay how was your day um it was break all right how about the platform and yes yes i worked in section four i don't remember the point <laughs> okay it's fine you <laughs> four already that's nice thank you teacher good evening joel beaches Good evening, teacher. How's it going? Um, not bad. All right. My day was relaxed. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm glad to hear that. And the platform, Joel? I, I finished the uh, section four. You finished section four. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Good evening, Jamie. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Great. And how was your day? Um, today I saw a lot of cartoons. <laughs> I love cartoons and so it you was have... a great day. Okay, awesome. Yes. That's pretty nice. And did you have any time to work in the platform? Yes, I will work in the platform in the lesson 4.6. Okay, excellent. Okay. Good evening, Betsaida. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm good, teacher. Great. How was your day? My day was quiet and, and good. <laughs> okay, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, today I saw my friends. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Yes, it is. And how about the platform, Betsaida? I'm going for lesson four, section four. Section four, okay. Great. And let's see, Joel Trigueros, how are you? Hi. Good evening, teacher. Miss. Good evening. How are you doing? I fine. And you? Pretty good. So how oh, was really? your day? How was your oh. day, Joe? Good, 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 good. All right, nice. And how about the platform? What section are you in? I work in the section four. Section four, okay, nice. Okay. Good evening, Freddy. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, it could be better. Oh, really? What happened? Was it a bad day? Not a bad day at all, but something about the career. Oh, okay. Some discussion about the law and the oh. situation. Oh, yeah. interesting. Makes me get angry. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> Okay, so we hope tomorrow is better, okay? <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. So let's see. Good evening, Miguel Presa. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. 
a little sick. Oh, that's pretty bad. So what's the matter? Uh, it's flu. Oh, yeah, you should ca take care of yourself. So, um, did you have any time to work in the platform, Miguel? Yes, uh, I finished the last week. Oh, you finished with everything, section five and everything. Yeah. Okay, nice. Yes, Congratulations. Everything. Did you get the diploma? Thank you. Yes, yes. Awesome. Okay, pretty cool. Good evening, Carlos Zelaya. Okay. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Fine, teacher. Great. How about the platform, Carlos? Teacher, I finished. You finished? So. Okay. Great. Congratulations. Thank you, teacher. Good evening, Flor Argentina. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, great. How was your day? Very, very good. Excellent. And how about the platform? Have you been working on it? Yes. What section are you I in? Finished. You finished? Yes. With everything, even the, the final exam? Yes. Okay, congratulations to you too. Very mm -hmm. nice. All right, so I think we're ready to start with our class. So again, welcome to our third class now. So let's start by reviewing the possessive adjectives. Yesterday, we talked about both the possessive adjectives and the object pronouns, right? So now let's review the possessive adjectives. Which ones do you remember? Me. The my. adjectives, my. Mm -hmm. my. What else? Your. Your. He. His. Hair. Hair. What else? Them. Them. Are you sure? Is that an adjective or the object pronoun? They. Their. Their. Exactly. That's the adjective. Okay. So that's pretty much it, right? Remember that we have a different possessive adjective for each of the subject pronouns. For I, we have mine, for you, your, he, his, she, her, it, its, we, our, in, they, their. So now I need you to repeat, my. 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 Your. My. Your. 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 His. 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 Hair. Her, her. Her. It's. 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 Our. 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 There. 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 Okay, in order to put this into practice, we are going to complete some sentences. So we have to complete them by adding the correct possessive adjective. For example, in number one, we have my father is driving new car. What do we add? My car. His. My, his. my, my new, new, his, my new right? his. In this case, we're talking his. about my father, so we say mm -hmm. his. My Sorry. father is driving his, his. new car. Yeah. Okay, so that's what you are going to do. Let yeah. me send you to the breakout rooms to work in small groups. And you're going to have about five minutes to complete the sentences. If you'd like to write them, that would be great. If not, just talk right do it orally and i'm also sending a picture to the whatsapp chat so you have all the sentences okay so there we are accept the invitation please
Okay. 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 Hi, Miss Lily. Hello. <laughs> okay, number one. My father is driving his new car. Yes. The second. My father is Hello. Driving. Hello. What's your name? What's your name? And number three. I have a sister. Her name is Mary. Okay. The cow ate its food quickly. The cow ate its its food. It's it's full. It's full it quickly. Food. It's mm -hmm. food. Okay, number five. They they like sport. Okay. It's favorite. No. Oh, my my favorite. I know. They like sports. They like sports. They are they favorite sport. They. They. Oh no. They. Sure. They. Uh, number five. They. They like sports. There's favorite sport sports. Is Rugby. 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 Uh, right by. Number mm -hmm. six. Is this Paul's cat? Yes, it's your cat. Your cat. His? It's your cat. Pero está hablando de Paul. Is it, it, question. Ajá, pero it's está question. hablando de Paul. Is this Paul's no sería. Cat? His. Mm. It's your cat. Lo que dice, is this Paul's ¿Es este el gato, es, es, Ese es el gato de Paul. Y él dice, es su gato. Your. O oh, sí. Pero. In that case, you need to refer to Paul, right? So you Paul? see, it's Paul's cat. His cat. His cat, exactly. Oh, it, okay. It, mm -hmm. why, why not is your? I mean, in that case, no you would be saying like, yeah, it's the possessive too, but, well, you're referring to Paul's cat. Estamos diciendo ya en la pregunta que el gato es de Paul. ¿Es este el gato de Paul? Sí, mm -hmm. es su gato, right? Eh, uh, porque de otro right. modo tendría que ser como, no, es tu gato, por ejemplo. It's your cat. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's why. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Seven. I have pit. Its name is Babu. <laughs> yeah. It's past. I sport the favorite sport is rugby. Your? Uh huh. Favorite sport is rugby. Is this Paul Scott? Yes. It. Teacher, Miss. Hi. In this case, for the cats, the pulse cat uh, is, yes, it's his cat or it, it's cat? No, in that case, you should say his cat because you're referring oh, to Paul, okay. right? You're talking okay, about okay. Paul's cat. So it's his cat. Okay, and the number seven, I have a pet. Mm -hmm. His or its? So grammatically, we should say its. I have okay. a pet, its name is Babu. But, uh, well, some people use he or she for animals too. And it all depends on how much you love your animals, like your pets. And um, okay. so, yeah, if it's a very loved uh, pet, 
You could call okay. him a uh, him or her, right? Okay, both is correct. Yeah, exactly. Ah, okay, thanks. Uh, we bought our fruit yesterday. Nine, Flora. You are a boy, and your name is Mark. Okay. What is with my family? Okay. That's good. Yes, it's Quiero ver dónde está his. Mi... Solo quiero ver dónde está el dibujito ese. Ah, que lo mandó hace poco. Aquí está. It is it. It is subject, object, y possessive object. It. Mami, le hice comida a coffee. It's cat. Hi, Solamente it. Questions? Cat. Sí, yes. In the number six? Number six, yes. What happened? Yes. Um, it's it's his We're, cat. Uh, okay, so it says, is this Paul's cat? You say yes, it's. What do you think? The his. Is his, exactly. His, it's oh, his okay. cat, because we're referring, referring to Paul, okay? okay. We're talking about okay. Paul. So the cat is Paul's. It's his cat. Okay. Okay. Number seven is I have a pet. Okay. It's so name. It's we're just name. getting back to the main room in just a couple of seconds, okay? Okay. Okay. We brought both in the case or or free yesterday. Yes, you are a boy and all right so we're back let's see we're going to check all together we had number one my father is driving his new car his new car, okay. Number two, Noel Ramirez. Noel Ramirez, can you help me with number two? Hello, what's... I don't read that. What oh. Is your name? Your name? Exactly, your name. Next one, thank you, Noel. Next one, Flor. I have a sister, uh, his, his name is Mari. And we're talking about our sister, so that is she. We use, I have a sister. Hair. Hair, <coughs> that's right, hair name. So we say her name is Mary. Next one, Wendy Molina. The cow ate mm -hmm. it food quickly. It's food quickly. Very well. Next one, Urania. Um, they like sports. Their favorite sport is rugby. Exactly. Their favorite sport is rugby or rugby. Okay, Edwin, okay. help me with the next one, please. Yes. Is this Paul's cat? Yes. It's his cat. His cat, exactly. Okay, next one, Irma. Oh, I have a pet. Yeah, <laughs> I confused, but I think that is um. I have a pet. Uh, your name or his name is Babu. 
Okay, so in this case, um, grammatically, we should use its. I have a pet, its name is Babu. However, um, well, if it's your pet and you love it pretty much, you, you could also call it um, he or she, right? So it could be like, I have a pet, his name is Babu or her name is Babu too. So grammatically, the rule says you have to call it it, right? It's like its name, but you could also use he or she in this case. Okay. All right, next one, Roberto. Roberto Antonio. I'm sorry. Um, we bought, no, no sé qué es bought. Um, it's the past of buy. Comprar. <laughs> ah, comprar. <laughs> comprar. We bought for, um, no, I, I, I don't know. Okay, don't worry. Freddy, can you help us? Sure. Uh, we bought our fruit yesterday. Exactly. We bought our fruit. Thank you. Next one, Sara Jacobo. Hi, uh, you are a boy and your name is Mark. Exactly. Your name is Mark. And the last one, Joel Trigueros. My answers is my. Exactly. I live in Paris with my family. Okay. Miss, I have a question. Tell me. I, I, como puedo saber uh -huh. si en las oraciones, perdón por estar hablando español, pero es que no puedo expresarme en inglés todavía. Don't worry, it's fine. Por lo menos en la nueve dice es lo que decía Urania le hablamos con Urania le decía you are boy y his name is Mark pero yo no sé si están hablando solo entre dos personas o tres personas que dos personas están hablando de el chico uh -huh. y lo están viendo well. no no cómo definir para hacer una buena respuesta en, en qué contexto lo están lo están haciendo well, in this case, um, it says you are a boy. So it, it sounds like you are talking to that person, right? To that boy. So you say like, you are a boy and your name is Mark. So you should be telling that to Mark. Al parecer, eso se lo estamos diciendo a Mark directamente. Entonces, sería tú eres un niño y tu nombre es Mark, right? You are a boy and your name is Mark. Okay. Eh, sería un poquito distinto si le cambiamos, por ejemplo, this is a boy in his name. En ese caso sí ya sería his name, porque no se lo estoy diciendo a él directamente tu nombre, sino que su nombre es, right? I don't know if it's clear. Mm, ok, ok. Thank you, miss. Thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Any other question? Oh. <coughs> Okay, so let's continue with the object pronouns. So what are the object pronouns? Can you mention them? Me. Me. You. You. Him. 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 Her. Her. Him. It. It. Us. Us. Them. Uh, them. them exactly them. so once again we have a different object pronoun for each of the subject pronouns for i we use me for you we have you it remains the same then we have he that changes to him she goes to her it it it, it remains the same then we have we us we. and they them Repeat, please. Me. 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 You. Me. 
You. You. Him. You. Him. 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 Hair. Him. Hair. 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 It. 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 Us. 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 Them. 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 Say it like them. 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 Okay, so now it's time to practice. Here I have some sentences that we are going to complete. So the first one says, you are very kind. I love, what do we use there? Mm. Me. Love you. You, mm. you are very kind. You. I love you, you right? You. I, love I love you, you. very much. Okay, number two, Joel Beaches, help me please. Them. Can you read the sentence them. and complete it? The children will come. The children will, will come. You wait for them. Will you wait for them? Thank you. Will you wait for them? For them. That them refers to the children, right? It refers to the children. We're talking about the children, that's why we choose them. Number three, Marilyn. Um, we are going for a walk con wheat. Um, us. Con with? Me, us. With us. us. Exactly. So it says we, right? We are going for a walk. Come with us, with us. Okay, the next one is for um, Joel Trigueros. Joel Trigueros, can you help me please? Oh, sorry, teacher. Okay. I I I stay in core. The work. Okay. So let's see, Freddy. Can you help me, please? Sure. This is James. Do you know him? Do you know him exactly? Very good. So it refers to James, right? James, him. Okay, next one, Flor Argentina. Chris, I like it. I like it. I like it, right? It refers to the dress. How much is that dress? I like it. Okay, our next one is for Betsaida. Okay, teacher. You and Theo mm -hmm. are tall, but Theo is taller than, than you. Taller than you, exactly. Thank you, Betsaida. Suli, can you help me with the next one? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Where is my mom? What? I want to talk. Uh, I uh, want to talk to uh, you. Uh, you. So you're asking you. about your mom. Where is my mom? I want to talk uh, to one her. To her, exactly. Thank you, Suli. Where is my mom? You're I welcome, want to teacher. talk to her. Next one, Carlos Celaya. Carlos Celaya, can you help me, please? Me, hey, teacher. Yep. Can you help me? So it says, we can solve this. Can you help? Yeah. Them. What is it? Um, 
Help us. us. Exactly. Us. Help us. Teacher. Help Sorry. us. We can solve this. Can you help yeah. us? Right? Okay. Bye. Thank you. Next one, Jamie Campos. Okay, how about we do it all together? We have, I can't do that. Can you help? Me. Me. And the last one says, this is my house. Do you like? Kids. It. Like, do you like, like it? it? Do you like it? Okay, pretty well. Do you have any questions about any of the sentences? No? No, teacher. No, Great. teacher. Okay, nice. So that's the way we use the object pronouns. So now let's move on to the conversation. Well, today we are going to listen to a conversation and we have to answer some questions. Here you have the questions. The first one says, where are Dave and Susan going to go? Then we have, when is the match? Next one says, what time does the match start? And are they going to have dinner together? So those are the four questions you have to answer. Um, oh, we have another one. What time are they going to meet? So five, five questions you have to answer. You are going to listen to the conversation and get the answers to the questions. So let me just send the questions to the, the chat. So you have them. Let's see. Okay, there you have the questions in the chat and I'm just going to play the conversation right now. Okay, so pay attention and get the answers. I'd like to and I'd love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay. Let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay. Could you get the answers? Or do you need to listen again? Yes. Listen again, please. Okay. Yes, please. Okay, let me play it one more time. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, did you get all the answers this time? <laughs> yes? Try. <laughs> where, where is the... okay. <laughs> all right, so let's listen to it one more time and then we're going to check and share the answers, okay? Okay. Okay. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay. Let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. All right. So let's see. Let me just get back to the presentation. Okay. So tell me about the answer to the first question. Where are Dave and Susan going to go? 
to a match, soccer, soccer match. Exactly, they are going to go to a soccer match. Next one, when is the match? Friday. Friday. Friday, Friday night. Yes, it's on Friday night. Next one, what time does the match start? Eight. Eight, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. Are they going to have dinner together? Yes, six. 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 No. Because uh, they are no. not going to have dinner. Exactly. No, no they are not going to go no. have dinner together. No. Because they because... can't, right? Yeah. And the last one, what time are they going to meet? 7 30. Exactly. Very good. So here you have the conversation. Now we are going to practice by reading it. So let me see. Do I have two volunteers to read the conversation? Please, if you'd like to participate, say your name. Freddy. Freddy? And? Yes. Susan. Hi. Hi. Sara. Hi. Okay, yeah, yeah. so Freddy, you start. Okay. I have a I have tickets for the soccer match on Friday night. Would you go? Would you like to go? Thanks. I I love to. What time does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six o'clock? Uh, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Great. Thank you, Sarah yeah. and Freddie. All right. Do I have a second pair of volunteers? Okay. I and that is... Can you say your name, please? Hi. Mm, Wendy. Yes? Me? Okay, so Wendy Molina and Edwin. Edwin, go ahead, okay. please. Okay. Hey, I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks, I'd love to. What time does it start? At eight o'clock. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six? Um, I like to, but I have work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around cemetery. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. All right, thank you, Wendy and Edwin. And let's read it just one last time. Do I have any volunteers to read this time? Me. Me, teacher. Um, can you say your names, please? Sorry. Name, so you, me. Yes. Uh, sorry, you couldn't. Oh, that would be Marilyn and... Sorry, okay. I couldn't hear that. All right, so Marlene and I start. Go ahead. Sully. Okay. And you 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 are you are David or Susan? Marlene? Um David, no problem. Okay. And okay. Susan. I had tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Yes, I love to. What time does it start? At eight o'clock. That sounds great. So you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I'd like to, but I hate to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's to meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the day. That sounds fine. See you there. Excellent. Thank you, girls. Okay, so now, teacher. please, everybody repeat tickets. 
Stadium. The stadium. 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 Match. 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 Soccer match. Soccer match. Soccer match. Soccer match. Seven thirty. Seven thirty. Seven thirty. Seven thirty. Seven thirty. Gate. 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 All right, okay. so do you have any questions about any of the words here? Maybe about meaning or pronunciation? Yes, teacher. So, uh, if, if we talk quickly in some of the Susan sentences, thanks. I did love to what is the pronunciation. I and D. This one over here, like things I'd love to. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I'd. I'd. You said that d sound I'd, at the end. I'd, I'd, love. I'd. I'd love to. I'd love to. Okay. This is, that is the contraction of what? A wood. A wood. Yes. Would. So that is what I'm explaining okay. next. So, yes, um, it's very good that you. I mention it because we are going to study that right now. So here you have different questions and also answers with the contractions for would or the word would, right? For example, here we have, would you like to go? And the answer, I'd love to, right? Also we have, I'd like to. So where do I use this? Well, so by the end of this lesson, you will comprehend the use of wood in questions and answers. And well, first of all, let me tell you that we use wood for invitations and offers. How come? Here I have some examples. The first one says, would you like to go to a soccer match? Would you like to go to a soccer match? That's an invitation, right? I'm inviting you to go to see the soccer match. So please, everybody repeat. Would you like to go to a soccer match? Would you like to go to a soccer match? Go to a soccer match. Okay, next one. Would you like to come for a meal? Would you like to come for a meal? A meal. A meal. Would you like to come for a meal? So once again, I'm inviting you for a meal. That's an invitation. Next one is an offer. Would you like a drink? Repeat, please. Would you like a drink? Would you like a drink? So that means I'm offering you a drink. And then another example we have is, would you like some soup? Would you like, you like some, soup? Soup? some soap? Soup. Would you like soup. some soup? Would you like some soup? Would you like some soup? Would you like some soup? Okay, just a comment about the word soup. We have soup and soap. So it's very important to make the difference, right? So soup is what you eat, right? Or drink, if you may say it like that. Soup, the food. Then we have the word soap, which is the one that you use, for example, to wash your hands. You use soap. So it's very important to pronounce in the right way. Soup and soap. Repeat, please. Soup. 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 There you are. Soup. 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 So let's see. The structure we use in order to make questions with the word would is, first of all, we need would. Then we need the subject, which in most of the cases would be you, right? Because um, it's, more, it's most likely um, that I'm telling you, right? That I'm asking you about something. Um, like when I go for an invitation, I'm going to tell you. So would you? And then I use the verb like. After that, in some cases, I have a verb in the infinitive. For example, here in the first two sentences, we use to go, to come. 
but in some other cases we can just omit it and we can have a different complement like a drink or some soup. And well, that's all, right? We have the verb in the infinitive, then the complement and the question mark. So just be careful with this. Sometimes we use a verb and whenever we use a verb, we need to add it in the infinitive. To go, to come, to eat, to drink. And in some other cases, you can just go ahead and use the complement. Is that clear? Teacher. Tell me. For all verbs, we use to before yes. the verb. Exactly. For all. all of them go with okay. two. No. They go in the infinitive. All right. And then, um, well, that's the way to make the invitations or the offers. But then how do I accept them? Well, I could say, thank you. I would love to. Repeat, please. Thank, thank you. you. I will thank love you. I will love. Thank you. I would love to. Or I'd like to. I would like, 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 like to. That sounds lovely. That sounds, that sounds lovely. Lovely. Sounds lovely. Sounds lovely. And in this case, the adjective lovely can also be changed um, or switched to another adjective, for example. That sounds great, that sounds fantastic, that sounds perfect. Okay, next one is, what a great idea. Repeat, please. What a great, great, idea. What a great, great idea. idea. What a great idea. What a great idea. Okay, then we have, thanks for your invitation. I'd be delighted to. Thank, Thank you for your invitation. For your invitation. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be delighted to. Okay, so delighted too, that means that you are very happy about that and it's a pleasure for you, let's say. So that would be like, me encantaría or estoy encantado, right? Mm -hmm. Wait. Miss. Miss. Okay. Yes, tell me. Uh, how do you pronounce uh, pronunciation the contraction add word I word as in here I'd be delighted yeah. to no is that only 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 I work I I listen you say the pronunciation I live I work I mm. Sorry, I do not get your question. Can you uh, say it again? I, I, I want mm -hmm. you say pronunciation. I work. I I work. listen to you. Oh, I would. You say? I Is would. that what you? Yes. Okay, I would. In contraction. I'd. 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 That's I, how it goes. Eight. So it's it, it, similar to I, but I'd con I'd with D. At the end, right? So yeah, I'd. exactly. With that D sound. I'd. I'd. I have I would. I'd. Y también I'd. I would. No like se pronuncia it. la L. Si se fijan. Would. Ni la would. O. Would. 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 I would. I would. Good, good, good. I would. Okay. So the next answer that we could provide for accepting an invitation would be sounds great. Repeat, please. Sounds great. Sounds great. Sounds great. Sounds great. Sounds great. Okay, Sound another great. one is that be wonderful. That be wonderful. Okay. That so be wonderful. Is it clear? It be wonderful. Yes, it's clear. Great. That's so that is when wonderful. accepting invitations, but what happens when I do not accept them? 
Can I refuse invitations? Well, I could say I would like refuse. to, but I. And then you have to complete that, that sentence, right? And like I would like to go, but I can't. I would like to go, but I have to work. I would like to go, but I am too busy. Repeat, please. I would like to, but I. I would like to, but I. I would like to, but I. Okay. We also have I I'd like to. I'd love to, but I. I love to, but I. But I. And again, you have to complete it. I'd love to, I'd come, love to but, but I, I love can't. To, but I, I'd but love, I, to, I can't. I'd love join to join you, but I, but, I, but, I, but I don't have a car, for instance, or but my mom doesn't let me go. Okay? But I don't so have money. So you just have to explain it exactly. I don't have money. Okay, next one. Thank you for asking me, but. Repeat, please. Thank you for asking me. Thank you for asking me. Thank you for asking me about. Thank you for asking me. Okay, about. and once again, you had an explanation at the end, right? Thank you for asking me, but I can't. Thank you for asking me, but I have to work. Any other? Any other Thank idea on what to say? <laughs> Thank you for asking me, but I want. I want. I okay. don't want to. I don't want to. Okay. I can't. I can't. Yeah. All right. Next one is I don't think I can. Repeat, please. I don't think I can. I can't. I can't. And then we have sorry, I don't think I can make it. Sorry, but I can't. I don't think I can make it. Very good. So those are the answers that you could say when refusing invitations, when you are not accepting, right? So let's see. Now we are going to practice right. by inviting our classmates to do something or to go someplace, maybe. And well. Our classmates are going to accept or refuse. So let's see, for example, Urania, would you join me for coffee? Sorry, <laughs> I don't listen. Okay, I said, would you join me for coffee? I don't know, Miss. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, let me change the, the question. So would you like to go to the, um, let's see, to Metro Centro? Yes, I love it. I love to. I love okay. it. Okay, pretty well. So now, Urania, you make an invitation to one of your classmates. So you ask, would you like to? Um, Joel Beaches, would you like to um, mold? I'd like to go, but I have to work. Okay, pretty well. Now, Joel, can you ask another person, please? Okay. Edwin, would you like to go to the park tomorrow? Oh, yes, I would like it. Okay, um, so continue, please. Edwin? Okay. Um, uh, Roberto. Would you, would, would you like to drink a beer? I'm sorry? Would you like to drink a beer? A beer. Beer. A beer. Uh, yes, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it'd be great. So continue, please. Ask another person. 
No sé por qué me relacionan con cerveza. ¿no? <risa> <risa> eh, Zuli. For you face. <risa> would, would you like to drink? Would you yeah. like? Would you like to uh, drink? Yes, I. Um, I love. I love to wait. I'd love to. Okay. All right. Pretty well. So that's how we um, use those invitations, and uh, well, we accept or we refuse the invitations using wood, right? And let me just tell you about the pronunciation for the word. This one is beer. And then this one is bear. So be careful with the pronunciation because, you know, bear is the animal, right? Beer, the drink. Okay, beer, so beer, please beer, repeat. Beer, 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 beer. Beer, bear. Repeat. Beer. Beer, bear. Bear, bear. 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 And also we have bear. another word which is similar, which is bird. Bear. 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 So we have bear, bear, bird. Bear, bear, bear. Bear, bear, bear. Bear, bear, bear. 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 bear is also it's an animal. Bird so and bear. Bird. The bird, bear is bear a big animal bear. with four. And the bird is a little animal bear. that flies, right? And beer bear. is a drink. Bear, a beer. Bear, bear, bear is beer. also. Beer, bear, bear. Um, beer, a bear, bear, take a beer. This one, beer is a drink. Bear is a big animal with fur and just, um, you know, ears and fur. For um, legs and, and arms, also. right? Awesome. And then, also. yeah, exactly. Also. Ah. Then we ah. have bird, which yeah, is that animal that part that flies, right? That. Okay. okay. All right. So do we have any questions? Okay. Any doubts? No? No, okay. no questions. Okay. Ooh. So that's all. Take care and have a good night. See you tomorrow. I see you tomorrow. Take a beer. 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 Beer.